Hey, Lise Wheel here with Hand of Fate. If you haven't had a chance to go out and get it, take a look at it now. It's a great Mother's Day present with the Mother's Day coming up this weekend. So go take a look. And for no other reason, um, you got to look in the back of the, of the book, Hand of Fate, because it's got letters from Bill O'Reilly and other folks, other radio personalities, who all write in saying how they really were the impetus for the murder of Jim Fate in the first chapter of Hand of Fate. It's a triple threat uh, club mystery with our ladies having to solve the crime, the TV reporter, the federal prosecutor, and the FBI agent. So go to your Barnes & Noble, go check it out at Borders, go on Amazon.com, take a look, look at Hand of Fate. It's a great Mother's Day present, great coming up beach, uh, beach uh, reading. We need some beach reading now. It's been really tough here in New York. Of course, you've been hearing about the terrorist attack recently, and there's just been an arrest made. Uh, we'll see what happens. It looks like he'll be tried in federal court. A Pakistani man, a 30-year-old Pakistani man who actually is a naturalized U.S. citizen. So he's going to get the full panoply of uh, rights as an American citizen in federal court. It's going to be a very interesting case. I got to tell you, it was uh, I wasn't working on Saturday night when it happened, but I was working uh, here on Sunday. And it, it's really very frightening, and thank goodness for the New Yorkers who were vigilant and really, you know, saw what, saw the smoke, literally the smoke coming out of that car, and, and called the the police. So that case is going on. It's a very important case going on. Um, have you heard about this case in um, in uh, Florida, where this t Largo grandmother was arrested? for slapping her 18-year-old daughter. Apparently the daughter had been kicked out of school for saying a word I can't mention here to a nun, but it starts with an F, um, and then apparently was saying it to her mother, her grandmother who gave her a slap. The police came and they arrested the 73-year-old grandmother for uh, assault. I think that's a little bit over the limit. I mean, I don't, I'm not uh, a proponent of slapping your children, but uh, this girl, um, Sounds like the grandmother just lost for a minute. I don't think she should be behind bars. And finally, I got to give you some warning on this, this texting and driving. I've been doing some research for a piece I'm going to be doing on it. Did you know that drivers who are texting at the same time while they're driving, and yes, I have done it, okay, I'll admit it, um, 6,000 people died as, in car accidents last year based on that, and over a mil half a million were injured due to distracted driving while texting. Look, we're all busy, we're multitasking, we're picking up the kids, we're doing this or that. Pull over if you need to take the phone call. Pull over if you need to text. Keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel. All right, that's Lee's wheel. Remember, hand of fate. It's great for Mother's Day. Great beat read. Go check it out. Till next time.